Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. It's pretty early in the morning here in South Wiltshire. I'm heading off to Herefordshire so I'm just trying to get this done before I jump in the car and, and dash off. Um, I can only say that the end of last week for me was really all about Ukraine. We were over in Brussels for a COPA meeting. Uh, I have to say I, I just do not see the urgency from the Commission any more really than I see the urgency here from the UK government to deal with the crisis uh, and the aftermath of what is going on in Ukraine. Um, we had an incredible update and wonderful for me to finally meet Maria Dutak, who's the director of the Ukrainian Agrarian Forum, who I've had a, a lot of contact with, and it was very emotional to finally meet her. She talked me through uh, what is going on, um, showed me a what I can only say is a horrendous video. Farms like this farm, like your farm, uh, with roofs that have been blasted apart, mines, bombs in fields, spring barley, just sort of growing up round them, cows dead in sheds, calves lying dead in crates, and then cows that weren't killed just wandering around the roads, and the farmer, who's one of their members, walking us round the farm, and it, it could be here, it could be anywhere. It just uh, really, really brought it home how horrendous it is. And the situation in the occupied territories is awful with Russians saying, you know, this is now our land. You plant it, but it's our land. It's our crop. There have been uh, situations of, of grain being stolen. And of course, there is the, the massive challenge now of, of moving grain with all the ports mined uh, and unable to get uh, grain out through the normal route. 98% of Ukraine's exports would go overseas, and so trying to get them out by rail is, is Im well, impossible at the moment. There's talk of building a bigger railway. So it was really interesting, I think, for all member states uh, and us uh, and others indeed to hear her presentation. It leaves you with the desperate feeling that we've got to do more to help it feels so real, I think, for, for all of us. And of course, the ramifications on the back of it are enormous. The global situation, what the World Bank was saying about the real need to keep food supply up is so pressing right now. And I have to say, you know, looking at our ability here in the UK on fertiliser, which I'm, I'm certain will be in short supply next year, while the gas price has levelled out and is lower, it would seem to make imminent sense that we turn... Uh, the other fertiliser plant on, have both plants running at 100% capacity so that we are making fertiliser, while the price of gas is, is relatively affordable compared to what it was before we head into the winter. So preparation, planning ahead is absolutely key for everyone. But I was genuinely pretty horrified from some remarks that came out of the Commission. There's no doubt that every farmer across Europe really gets this understands it and politically it's understood in some quarters but not in all and things need to change otherwise I think we are really headed for for problems so a lot of meetings connected to Ukraine um, and I'll keep you updated as, as things progress but anyway for me now I better head to Herefordshire or I will be late anyway please do as ever take care and I really look forward to speaking to you again next week many thanks <laughs>